530, taking new action. Two more deputies fired from BSO after the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. The internal affairs investigation into the mass shooting is now complete. Today, Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony said in all, four deputies lost their jobs. Tonight, we're hearing from parents whose children were murdered nearly a year and a half ago. CBS 4 Studs Counting is live at BSO headquarters near Fort Lauderdale with the details. Ted? Elliot and Rudabay, just yesterday, two of those deputies learned that they are no longer employed by the Broward Sheriff's Office. The sheriff said they and two others were fired for neglect of duty. Both of those officers failed to protect and save lives. Max Schachter, whose son Alex was killed in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas massacre, is pleased to hear that Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony fired two more deputies after the internal affairs investigation wrapped up. It became clear to me and our command staff that this was neglect of duty. And it was one of the, the most severe consequences as we lost 17 people. The latest two to lose their jobs are deputies Edward Eason and Joshua Stombaugh. They were terminated Tuesday. Fired earlier this month, Sergeant Brian Miller and Deputy Scott Peterson. He's sending a message to all law enforcement in the entire county that if there's uh, an active assailant, if there's a, a mass casualty event, and you do not go towards the shooter, you do not try to save lives, you're going to be held accountable. I lost my son, and these guys were fired. So there is no balance in those two things. Manny Oliver's son, Joaquin, was killed too. I believe that whoever was responsible and decided to be part of, of protecting people uh, should not be a coward should not uh, run away from the scene when you actually are needed. The sheriff also addressed two other internal affairs investigations. <laughs> in April, cell phone video captured 15-year-old Zaluka Roll being pepper sprayed and slammed to the ground in Tamarack. Two deputies are under investigation. <laughs> Sheriff Tony also addressed the case of a man being punched by a deputy while handcuffed to a hospital bed. In both cases, he's waiting for the state attorney to decide if there will be criminal charges. This isn't something that we're going to delay with or something that we're going to drag out, but the reality of it is it's not in our hands anymore. We have to wait till it returns back. The state attorney's office released a statement saying in part that the investigations are almost concluded and we anticipate announcing our decisions very soon. Now, the union that represents all of those fired deputies, except for Peterson, said that those firings are not legal and that all of them are fighting to get their jobs back. Live at BSO headquarters, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Okay.